are thankful for the grace of God. He is so faithful, so great. You can't outrun the grace of God. I don't even know anybody who want to outrun God's grace. I'm just saying. I know I don't. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. So glad to have each and every one of you in the tribe this awesome and beautiful, excellent morning. It is Financial Friday. I've been waiting for Financial Friday. Good morning. I have an awesome and wonderful word for you all. I have been prepping. I have been preparing. I have been putting stuff in order and in place so that I can give you guys some more insight, some more awareness, some more 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 of what is necessary for you to live a financially successful life now you guys most of you have been here in the tribe with me for quite some time some of you have been here since i started mm, since i started y'all since i started and so this morning we're going to declare the word of god but god has given me a few additional things to give you guys. You all understand the power of speaking God's word. You understand that you declare God's word over every area of your life that you shall receive the power and the manifestation of those things that you are declaring. But let me talk about a couple things really quickly and we're going to jump into it. As you can see, it says Proverbs, our scripture for today is Proverbs 18 and 16. It says a man's gifts a, a man gifts. If you look at the different translations, it'll say gifts and talents maketh room for him or her, right? And brings him or her before great men. Now, what was so awesome about this particular scripture was that we all have gifts and talents. Some of them are similar to other gifts and talents that others have. Now, the thing about having gifts and talents that a lot of people have, it doesn't mean that your gift and your talent isn't as great as our, our, it isn't great because somebody else has a great gift and talent. Guess what? God needs more more and more people to do the things that he's placed in us to get done, right? And so the thing about it is most people, hear me, when we're thinking about finances, we're thinking about money, we're thinking about how much money we want to make, we want to think about all these things when it's money related, finances related, whenever we're getting into Financial Friday, it is Financial Friday, so we are going to talk about money. Uh, some people are uncomfortable talking about money, and that is the problem. When you're uncomfortable talking about money, you can't learn what is necessary for you to have more of it. When you're uncomfortable talking about money, it is going to hinder you because somebody, I posted on my page, right, is that mystery is actually a form of ignorance right and wh why is mystery a form of ignorance well if you don't know something and it's not that everybody doesn't know it it just means you don't know it so you are ignorant of that knowledge and that information so it keeps you in bondage it keeps you from being able to be everything that god called you to be so let me say this let me say this so you guys can understand the reason why i come on and i challenge you all the reason why I give you new information, the reason why I give you the details is because you are, you may not, well, I don't know anybody that's aware of how to get millions of dollars and they decide, I don't just, I just don't want it. I don't know anybody that knows how to not live paycheck to paycheck and they just decide, I just want to live paycheck to paycheck. I don't know anybody that says, I got doctor bills and student loans 
that just kick in my tail and I'm paying all kind of interest for it. And I know how to not do that, but I am just choosing not to do that. I don't know anybody that stands in that place. I don't know anybody that says, I know how to be healthy, whole and heal, and I know how to make it work every time, but I'm gonna choose to be uh, unhealthy. I'm gonna choose to be sick and full of disease. I don't know anybody that does that. So what's the deal? What is it that I'm trying to say? What I'm saying is the reason why we don't have things is because we're not aware of how to get it. We're not aware of what it takes to get it. We're not aware of how the, what the process should look like. We're not aware. And I'm going to give you guys an example of that. When I was going through a major issue this year, it was a major thing that happened in Wipe Talk this year, and it was so devastating to me. And I was just like, really, Jesus? What? What? Now, number one, I kind of knew it was kind of sort of stuff happens like this because I watched my pastor. I watched my other men mentors deal with attacks. So I know attacks are not uncommon, but I was really, really still in my feelings about it, not for very long, but enough to go and talk to my coach about it. And when I talk to my coach, y'all listen, for those of you who are not investing in yourself to learn and be aware, you lose something. Let me tell you what she said. She started to cheer when I told her about how devastated I was about this circumstance and this situation, she started to cheer y'all. She was like, oh my God, this is so awesome. This is so, and I'm looking like, hold up. Did I just tell you my heart was hurting? I just tell you, she was like, Trishel, this is just great. Okay, what was happening? I was ignorant of a part of what she was aware of. She made me aware that there is a learning curve when you're developing an organization, when you're developing something new, there is a way that things happen. People leave, people don't stay, people lie, people cheat, people do all kinds of stuff. And so when I started to give her what happened, she started to make sure I was aware that girl, you on the next level. Let me tell you what the next level after this is. Let me tell you what's going on. She made me aware of what's going on. So I'm saying that to say this. What am I saying? I'm saying to you all, many of you are walking out stuff that you don't know how to walk the stuff out. You don't know that what you're experiencing is a normal part of the process. You don't know that when you're walking through particular things and you're believing God for stuff, you don't know. Why you don't know? Because you don't have somebody in your life that is a forerunner. You don't have the forerunner before you that is able to teach you, to guide you, to give you information. What you do is you go pray and you're asking God to remove a thing and that very thing is the thing that is going to level you up to the next place. But you're praying that that thing be removed and you don't understand you need that thing, right? So let's get back to finances. Let's get back to finances. So one of the things that I realized I was... Um, um, doing a study with my mentor and as I was doing the study with my mentor he started to talk about when we're looking at issues with money if you have issues with not having enough money listen hear me if you have issues with not having enough money you need to be okay would ch checking in with someone to walk you through the process of what you don't know. Listen to me. For those of you who are not doing the internal work to get somebody to walk you through how to do it, you are hindering yourself. There is no reason for you to have to walk through a life of poor, lack, um, not enough, insufficiency. If you are still getting, um, if you're still bouncing your checkbook, hear me. If you're still bouncing your checkbook, if you're still saying, I'm going to pay this bill instead of that bill, I need you to hear what I'm saying to you. That is not the will of God. It is not God's will for his children. And if that is what your life looks like today, this is not about shame. I don't do shame. I, I, I just don't. I don't do, I don't operate in shame. 
I don't operate in any of that. That's not of Jesus. I don't, I don't do that. But what I am saying to you, what I am saying is there is a way to not be in that place. So you've taken step one. You are declaring God's word. Step one is to declare God's word that you have everything you need. And we're going to do a declaration of our finances in just a moment. Declaring God's word is one thing. But then God gives us action steps of things that we need to do in order to engage and make sure that our financial life is in order. Now, one of the things that I said yesterday that I want to just clarify and give you guys a, a thing is that money... And we're going to get into our confession. Money is a response to creative action. Money is a response to creative action, which means for those of you who are still bouncing your checks, those of you who still live in paycheck to paycheck, those of you who don't have enough to pay all your bills off, those of you, listen, 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 y'all. It's not been that long ago since I've been able to pay my bills in full. So if my water bill is $150, there was a time, even though it was interesting, even though I had money, I was paying half of it, which meant that the next month my big bill is bigger. If you are in a place where you are paying partial so it don't get cut off, that's not the will of the Father. That is not what he wants you to do. So this Financial Friday, I want you to understand and hear me and hear me good. I want you to hear me. Money is a response to creative action. Creating something, service, product that will produce the response. So for those who are saying, I just want to win the lottery. Now, I ain't mad at the lottery. I ain't mad. But it's more people giving money to the lottery. And if they would add up the number of dollars they have given the lottery and invested in creating something that is a service or a product for people, they would have reaped a mighty harvest after that. I hope y'all hear what I'm saying. Money is a response to a creative action you have to create in order to get the response so if you are just praying god is answering your prayer god how am i going to pay this bill god i got this new thing that came up god i got this unexpected situation god where is this thing i need more money god i declare x y and z if that is your prayer god is answering how you going to do it create something Money is a response to a creative action. What are you creating? What are you creating? Now, what I did is I actually decided to create a um, training, and it's a free training. I know I've been giving y'all a lot of free trainings lately, but I need you guys to get this information. I need you guys to get this information. I, per, I, I am... Um, Periscope, give me just a minute. I'm sorry. I meant to pull this thing up before I got over to you guys. I apologize. Give me just a second. I um, created um, a training so that you guys can get this particular training. It is a money earning mindset. Three income earning strategies you should know. I did not. Let me tell you. I did not know this, y'all. I didn't know it. I had to study, I had to learn, I had to spend money, I had to invest in mentors to give me this knowledge. I'm giving it to y'all for free. It is an exchange, right? So for those of you who need it, I need you guys to inbox me so I can give you that information. If you're not connected to Trichelle's Inner Circle, you need to get there. And you need to get connected to it so that you can get what you need, right? What does a wife do when her husband is on the same page when it comes when not are you saying it's not on the same page for finances asking uh, for anyone who um, had the thought about hesitation to ask okay um, Taya I don't know if you're saying if he's on the same page or not on the same page let me know clarify that for me and I'll, I'll, I'll try to speak to that in a moment but I want you all to know that there are mindsets to money what you don't know can absolutely hinder your process what you don't know could absolutely hinder 
what it is that you are trying to do. You don't even know you operating in lack. You don't even know you're operating in a place where you're not getting enough. You don't even know that you're operating in a place where it is not going to be well for you. You don't even know that. You you fight against a current. You don't even know why that current is there. That's un being unaware. And so I want you all to just be very mindful. I want you to take the time that you need to take. I need you to enroll learning. It's not a long process to take the class. Take the class, y'all. Do what you need to do. Take the class so that you can have what it is that you desire to have for your family, for your life, for your marriage, for your future, right? So I'm going to get into our declaration. We're going to declare the word of God for those of you who are not on Facebook right now, but you want to get that training, inbox me. I will send you the link to that um, as soon as we're done with our confession this morning. But it is Financial Friday. I said November is the month of favor. We're going from favor November to increase December. So we're going to do our confession on favor today. Y'all ready? Let's get in there. Now, I know this is probably a little longer than what you guys were anticipating, only because I needed to teach you guys that I have been waiting to give you all that information because I needed you all to understand how important it is for you to guys to know if you are not aware if you're not aware you can lose because you're not aware get the knowledge that's necessary in order for you to win every single time so let's get into our declaration of favor y'all ready i hope that's helping somebody i hope that's helping somebody i hope that's helping somebody yes your m3 goes see see tanya didn't already took the class ain't nobody messing with you tanya <laughs> all right you are so welcome, Sharon. Now, I will say that the courses will give you the awareness. It will not walk you through the process. You will have to take the other courses to get to the process, and you will learn that. One thing is to be aware of it. Let me give you an example of that. I may be aware of um, that I can lose weight if I do an exercise, but if I don't take the exercise class, I cannot effectively lose the weight. I won't lose it. So I'm giving you guys stuff to make you aware of things that you need to be aware of, but there is still work that needs to be done. So I don't want you to get, you know, um, uh, I don't want you to think, well, just because I know the information is more, it's enough. No, it's like people know the Bible, but they still die of sickness and disease. People know the Bible, but they still lose their homes and their cars and different stuff. People know the Bible, but they still don't act in the different manners of what they need to act in order to receive what they desire to receive. So I want you all to know I am giving you all some free courses to learn to make your awareness so you can get into the place of awareness and then you can start believing God to be able to pay for the courses to walk you through the things that you need to do, right? So I want you to get aware of what you don't know. What is it that you don't know? Be aware of that so that you can walk through the doors to get the things that you desire to get, right? Let's get into this confession, y'all. Let's get into this confession. Say, be in the place of awareness. Amen. All right, y'all. The way this works, for those of you who are new, if you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, the way this works is I'll give you the confession and you repeat after me. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Repeat after me. In the name of Jesus, I declare I am in covenant with God. I declare I have the peace of God. Therefore, I am whole, I am complete in every area of my life. I declare that there is nothing missing, nothing broken in my life. I declare I am empowered by God to succeed in everything I put my hands to do. Thank you, Lord, that my marriage, my job, my family, my business, my children, my finances, and every relationship I am connected to, I declare that they are all prosperous. Thank you, Lord, that I too am prosperous and equipped to fulfill God's perfect divine will for my life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for your word is a light unto my feet and a pathway to success in every area 
of my life. I declare that my gifts and my talents make room for me and that I shall stand before great men. I will have influence in this world to make a mark on this world that will never, ever be erased. Thank you, Father that I declare and I decree that your favor surrounds me, my husband and my children, everywhere I go. I declare favor in my employment, favor in my business, favor every place my feet shall tread. Favor follows me and chases me down. I declare that I am the righteousness of God. And I see the manifestation of the words that I speak. I speak favor to increase and I shall have what I say. Thank you, Father, that your favor is forever with me. It never leaves me, nor will it forsake me. I declare that I am a part of the generation that experiences God's unmeasurable, limitless, surprisingly great favor. I declare that favor produces supernatural increase. Favor produces promotion and restoration. Favor produces honor an increase of assets. Favor produces victory. Favor produces recognition and preferential treatment. Thank you, Lord, that your favor allows grants to be received for my behalf. Favor produces increase, overflow, more than enough in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, that your favor goes before me and meets me everywhere I show up. People stop to bless me. People move out the way so that I can reach favor. Unexpected checks are in my mailbox. Y'all better declare it. Unexpected increase shows up in my bank accounts. Unexpected money comes to me daily, every day, I receive favor in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, that I receive what you've promised and your promises will never, ever be returned void. Thank you, Lord. Today, I receive it. I stand expecting that the favor of God reigns and rules over myself, over my husband, over my children, over my family, over those that are in my community, over those that are in my organizations, over those who are connected to me. I am the favor magnet. I am the favor um, generate. I am connected to favor. Those who are connected to me know that favor shows up because I am there and Jesus is with me. Thank you, Lord. I receive it now. Favor to increase in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody write it. Favor, hashtag favor to increase. Favor to increase in Jesus' name. Amen. We are doing it. We are standing. We are believing. Y'all, we are We going to do everything that God has called us to do so that we can receive exactly what he promised. So we can receive exactly what he promised. Favor to increase. Favor to increase. Favor to increase. I am going to, I am saying to each and every one of you, 
if you are sitting in a place of any kind of lack and you are not aware of how to make it change, you need to take that course. You need to take the class. You need to do what you need to do to, in order to get that going for yourself. Learn what you don't learn. No, no. Find out what you don't know. Learn what you don't. Don't be afraid that somebody knows something more than you. You want to say, you see somebody who knows something more than you? Say yes and amen. How can I sit at your feet to learn what you got? Guess what? I need, I need what you got. I need what you have going on. I need you to teach me how I can do it so that I can continue to do it over and over and over and over again. All right, y'all. For those of you who have not seen yet, um, my book release um, online is an online book release party. I need you guys to, to, to come show up. I, I, I'm believing God. I have God. I, 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 I'm pulling at the hem of his garment and I'm like, I'm expecting. Don't get it twisted. I'm expecting. On the 12th, of, it's a Monday at 7 p.m. We're going to do an online party. You all are going to meet some of the other White Talk Publishing House authors. You're going to hear about their books as well, what they published through the 21 Day Authorship Project. This is the thing, y'all. Let me tell y'all. If you are saying, I need a certain amount of money by the end of the year, create a book. Create a level and a stream of income. If you have not, I have had several women have walked through, created their book in 21 days. I'm not just the only one doing it. I'm going through the 21 day process right now because I got two books to write before the end of the year. The one I'm currently writing and another one I'm going to do with you guys in December. If you have a word that you need to let loose into everybody who you are connected to and those and some more, and you have not checked out wifetalkpublishing.com, wifetalkpublishing.com, um, if you guys can type, somebody can type that in, Wife Talk Publishing, publishing.com. If you have not gone on there and checked out what the 21 Day Authorship Project is and you are saying you need money, guess what? God not playing with you. It, he not playing with you. If you are supposed to write a book, it is not expensive. I, I, I have not made the prices so expensive that you can't get your book written. Guess what? I've not. You can get your book written and get it done, and you can do it with a group of people. And guess what? That's another stream of income. That's another stream of income. You can make money in your sleep by having your books done. And you just spent 21 days to put it together. So we are going to do um, the, the book release is going to be on, it's going to be the 12th, which is uh, not next Monday, the following Monday. So it gives me a couple days. And we're going to have door prizes. It was so funny. I got an inbox from one of my awesome uh, friends, and she said, we got door prizes. How you get a door prize in you online? I got a surprise for y'all. It's going to be good. I can't wait. I can't wait. But we're going to have door prizes. We're going to be giving away some books. We're going to be doing a few different things. And so I want you all to be aware that it's coming up. And I need you guys to support. I need you to support me, please, and thank you. I need y'all to support me, please, and thank you. I'm asking please and thank you. Okay. So I said, please and thank you. Show up. Even if you can't buy a book, show up. Being present is support. Okay. Although I do want you to buy a book. You want to like, put that on your Christmas list. I'm just saying. So I love you all. Um, get the free class and I will be back on Monday. Um, and we're going to declare God's word. I love you all. I love you all. I love you all. You all be blessed and I'll be chatting with you all soon. Um, you can also join the White Top Publishing um, House Facebook page is where the invite is or whatever. You, you guys can do that. All right. Be blessed, everybody. I'll chat with you all soon. Bye.